second consecutive quarter of positive EBITDA. Uh, so the operational performance has been improving for the company in the last two quarters and that stock is holding up about one odd percent or so today as well. JP Chalsani, the MD and Group CEO of Punjloy joins us now to talk about that. Mr. Chalsani, good morning and good to see you in on the show. Good morning. Uh, you know, the year FY15 was a very challenging year for you. Overall, your revenues have fallen almost about uh, 40 odd percent or so this year. But in the last two quarters, we've seen things improving uh, uh, for you on the operational front. Just give us a sense of how you expect FY16 to shape up at least the first half. Um, based on your order pipeline, where is it currently? And on this uh, base of around 5,000 crores of income, how much do you think you could manage to grow, uh, at least in the first half of the fiscal? Yeah, uh, let me just take you back first to the FA15, so that that's, that's relevant for us to talk about FA16. As you mentioned, FA, uh, I completely agree with you, FA15 had been a very challenging year for us on this. But uh, after the end of the quarter one, we mentioned that the, that's the bottom what we reached and we would have a sequential improvement quarter on quarter basis. And that's what I think you have seen the results on this. And also what we've been doing, as we mentioned earlier, is that uh, there's a big concentration on the bottom line, not just on the top line alone. And one of the reasons the top line has been low also is because the other book in the previous year has been very low. So therefore the new orders picking up in the year was less. So, but that would change. Now coming to the FI 16, the, because we now set the ball rolling and we've been on the improving trend constantly, I'm not going to say that FI 16 is going to be a, a fantastic year for us, but it's going to be a, uh, it's still going to be a challenging year, but I think uh, it will be much different compared to the FI 15. We'll continue to show the improvement quarter on quarter basis on the, uh, for three reasons. One is that uh, we will consolidate our EPC business and uh, we will uh, be concentrating on the defense segment, which is going to add to, to the top line as well as the bottom line. And the third is that our infrastructure development on this. On the EPC business, the last year we had about 700,000 crores of order booking on this. That got, add, got added to the uh, existing order book, and today we have it, about 21,000 crores of uh, order backlog. And we see the FA16 moving ahead both in India and outside, a good order pipeline. Even on the most conservative basis, we should expect about two to three billion dollar of uh, fresh orders booking happening in India and outside put together. So, therefore, from that angle, the order book would show the good uh, health as moving ahead on this. Second, because we had whatever we achieved, the operational improvement in FI15 would start showing us more and more results in FI16, continuing to show in FI16. Third is that we are trying to reduce our the cost of debt, which will add to the margins on this. I think that's another area which, because of which the margins would further improve. Overall, I expect the, I don't want to put a number at this stage, but I'll definitely give you at the end of quarter one, we would, uh, you would see a significant change in terms of both top line and more importantly the bottom line in the FA16. But again, a word of question, I'm not saying that this is going to be a fantastic year for us, but it's going to be a, a tough year, but good year for us on this. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chalsani. Focusing a bit on the operational improvement, so should we assume from here on the company will continue to rep you know, report positive EBITDA and overall for F516, the company is uh, at least at the operating level will be a profit, you know, the company will be profitable? That's the expectation uh, depending upon the, what we are seeing the visibility at this stage. As sure, that is what one can expect to happen on this, uh, the uh, moving ahead in F516, definitely. Okay. Uh, you did mention that one of the reasons for improvement in your uh, profitability going ahead will be the increased focus on the defense business. You are bidding for many defense orders. Just take us to what the situation is looking like in terms of how much better could the margins be? What are the average margins that you could expect from the defense business? And how big is the opportunity for you? I think at this stage, it's, it's more important to talk about the opportunity because it's mm -hmm. not the stage to talk about what are the margins and uh, I don't think we reach the stage of talking about what are the margins and expect, et cetera. As you know that we've been in this business for, for quite some time, but it's, it's really the difference has become the thing in, the, in, in mm -hmm. FA15. That's where the momentum has really picked up on this. As you know that we have a large manufacturing base at Malanpur and which we've been manufacturing for the defense utilities both in India and outside till now on this. But now we started bidding for these projects on this as uh, you know that the anti-defense gun system which is expected to be ordered shortly. That's one which is around uh, 500 crores worth of order, which we are hopeful. Other one is the, which got reported in the media recently, uh, 
the anti-aircraft gun system, which is about a $2 billion worth of orders, which right now is in the RFI stage, and we expect RFQ and RFP to come out sometime in the second quarter of uh, FY16. And other one we're doing is the upgradation of uh, the, uh, the artillery gun system. Uh, many of these things what we're trying to do, that's, just, that's again expected to be 1,000 crores worth of order. Many of these things what we're trying to do is that we are using these things both in India as well as the outside India on this. We have started marketing outside India as well. And we do have a few collaborations. Uh, at this stage, the guidance would be that yes, the, we, we are in thick and thin of the difference, and we do have the wherewithal for doing that, and this is definitely going to add uh, to the top lane, start adding to the top lane. I don't say it's significant, but start adding to the top lane in this year, and moving ahead from FI-17, FI-18, you see a significant the additions coming in on this. Other area is the infrastructure development. Uh, last year, we commissioned uh, another 20 megawatt, 21 megawatts of solar plant, taking our installed capacity to about 26 megawatts. We're doing another 21 megawatt, which is expected to be commissioned this year. So we would become a 50 megawatt solar company by end of this year. We already have a road project in our kitty, and we, had, we would work towards improving that business as well. Where these assets, we own these assets. I think all these three put together is what the, you would slowly see that the, it's not just a pure EPC company. Mm -hmm. You would see that as moving ahead that this is a EPC defense and infrastructure company in a big way. With, with definitely with a global footprint. Okay. Uh, you indicated that one of uh, the priorities of the company in F516 will be to reduce the debt on the books, and that will also help in improving the operational performance. Currently, your gross you know, borrowing is close to about 7,100 crore. How much would you like to reduce your debt by? What will be uh, the manner in which the company will reduce it? Yeah. Well, if you see, the, the, uh, I've been consistently saying in each quarter that the debt reduction is our primary target on this, and which we said that we will do through uh, uh, the monetization of non-core assets, as well as the claims realization. On both fronts, we had some movement in the FI-15, and which we expect to pick up other momentum in this year. We, we uh, divested uh, our stake in Medanta, and we reduced our term loan, which was at the beginning of the year was around 1460 crores, on the term loan I'm talking about, not the working capital, had come down now to about 1050 crores. That's about 400 crores odd we reduced on this. Obviously, the working capital would keep depending upon the more projects you do, it keeps uh, getting added on this, but we started reducing. Uh, also, what helped us to start reducing uh, the debt is the claims realization on this. We had a very focused approach on the claims realization. The last year, uh, in the last financial year, that is F515, we reduced, we, we realized about 750 crores of uh, claims which have been pending for quite some time. And we expect this number to go up to about 2,000 crores in FI-16. That would again help us to reduce the debt. Third, what we're doing is that we are right now uh, in the final stages of uh, completing the documentation with the banks, what's called the debt realignment plan on this, uh, which would give us uh, the more firepower in terms of fund-based and non-fund-based facility, as well as reduce our the debt cost by, let's say, about 100 basis points at least. So I think the multiple things is what we're doing. While we're trying to reduce the debt, we're also working with the banks to see that our the interest cost also comes down, a multiplicity of things on this. Uh, so therefore, I don't want to put a number at this stage, hoping that this 2,000 crores realization, as we see today, is feasible, happens, the claims. And as we see our interest costs coming down, you would see the year end, the debt would be much different from what it is today. Okay. Uh, in terms of monetization of non-core assets, you spoke about the uh, stake sale in uh, Medanta. Any other non-core assets that you have that you would be looking to sell within this fiscal itself? Yeah, we're looking at, uh, we do have a uh, uh, huge set of assets in terms of uh, barges for the offshore business what we use on this, yeah. which is what we're looking at divesting and, and few other things we're looking at. But I think the bigger... Uh, the source of income for reduction of debt this year would come from claims realization, mm. which is what we targeted about 2,000 crores in this year. And uh, which we are a little more confident because the whatever efforts we had put in last year, which was uh, we really very focused way we put in approach on this, gave us about 750 crores. In fact, uh, including up to now, the, in this financial year also if we add, that 750 has now gone up to 1,000 crores. So I'm sure that it will keep increasing, and that's going to be the main source for us to uh, reduce the debt. So uh, this 2,000 crores is what you expect to recover this year. What would the pending claims be, X of this 2,000 crores? 
Uh, if you remember our conversation in the previous quarters, I mean, on paper we have about uh, 10,000 yeah. crores worth of claims mm -hmm. on this. But okay. we're, uh, realistically we're expecting that at least 3 to 300,000 crores of this is realizable on this. Out of which about 1,000 crores we already realized on this. So therefore another 2,000 crores is what we're expecting mm -hmm. to realize now. And thereafter it will slow down. Okay. Um, you know, you will have 50 megawatts of solar projects. You did indicate that, you know, defense is all, defense could perhaps contribute to your revenues in F516 uh, as well. Uh, the order book in EPC is picking up. Um, can you give us a sense about, you know, what the revenues of the company might look like in F516? Uh, don't you think it's the right time to talk about this at the end of the quarter one? Uh, at this stage, I can definitely say yes that if you see at the console level, we're about uh, 700,000 crores this year on mm -hmm. this. So you should you should at least expect, uh, let's say, about uh, uh, this touching uh, going close to about 10,000 crores. But I think the right stage to talk about is the, uh, the end of quarter one. Okay, uh, fair enough, Mr. Chelsani. Thank you for but then, but then, But then also I said, but I also said that the top line is today in the company is that we're not really focusing on top line alone. Most important for us is to how do you efficiently uh, execute and then improve your bottom line. That's very important. Even if the top line increases, if the bottom line doesn't increase, it's really not going to help us. Oh, yes, and your uh, operational performance has been improving, so that's something that the street has yeah. liked. Uh, hope you continue to do that in the quarters to come. Thank you for joining us, and uh, hope you win many of these orders that you're bidding for as well. That's the word coming in from Punj Lloyd. The situation seems to be improving uh, on the ground for them, especially with respect to a lot of these um, segments like solar power, etc. So uh, let's see. Uh, the stock is up another 2 odd percent after uh, having a big run that it, that it saw on Friday. We'll take a break on that note, but when we come back, more market talk lined up, so stay tuned.